Praise be Jesus Christ. The other day I was speaking to one of the mothers of one of the young worship leaders who leads praise and worship for our youth group. And I was just commenting to her how her daughter's doing a phenomenal job leading praise and worship. And her mother responded by saying, well, when she's preparing and choosing the songs, she prays to the Holy Spirit. And I thought to myself, I'm not surprised. You see, a mature soul understands the grace and the help that God gives to those who ask Him for help, who ask Him for wisdom and direction. And people who are in the habit of turning to the Lord for wisdom, for help, for direction, these people, they're successful in, in wonderful ways. Their, their ministries, their li lives are fruitful. It doesn't mean that they don't have their challenges and trials and, and, and things like that, but there's a there's an anointing. There's a fruitfulness to people who seek the Lord's wisdom. Classic example of this is uh, King David. King David was a ridiculously successful military commander. He won battle after battle after battle. It was crazy how successful he was as a military commander. But when we look at the sacred scripture, we see his secret. David, over and over again, would consult the Lord when he had to make decisions. He didn't just rely on his own intelligence. He didn't just kind of get a group of consultants that he uh, relied completely on. No. He consulted the Lord. Check this out. 2 Samuel chapter 2. After this, David consulted the Lord. Shall I go up into one of the cities of Judah? The Lord replied to him, Go up. Then David asked, where shall I go? He replied, to Hebron. And there are so many examples in scripture where David is just, he's getting kind of uh, specific direction from the Lord. And we can do the same. We might not hear an audible voice from God when we're looking for wisdom, but one of the things I do, it's so simple. If there's a decision I need to make or I need some kind of direction, I just ask the Lord, you know, Lord, Please give me wisdom. Show me what to do. And then I pray a Hail Mary. When we pray the Hail Mary, we're calling on the name of Jesus because the name of Jesus is the center of this prayer. And I find this simple act of turning to the Lord, of humbly asking for His wisdom and direction, praying a Hail Mary, it helps recollect my soul and opens my heart to God's still small voice, his wisdom. And then there's typically some kind of a sense of how to keep moving forward and a peace that comes with this. And this is something, again, we should be in the habit of doing, finding some way to turn to the Lord, to recollect ourselves, to still ourselves, so that we can sense deep within the direction forward that gives us peace. And I think people who are in the habit of doing this, their lives are fruitful. God does great things through them. Viva Cristo Rey.